Because I've been dying to rip this fucking movie a new asshole. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> hey guys, Jake Vamp. Big Ben here. We're back with another uh, movie review. Today we're going to do Wonder Woman. So yes. stick around. It's going to be fucking great. Yeah. All right, guys, welcome back. Big Ben. <laughs> Let's start with you, because I gave my review. Last time I, I we did a video, I did my review first. So let's hear what you thought of Wonder Woman. Okay. Wonder Woman is definitely the 2020 of movies. <laughs> what in the hell were they thinking? Okay, this is the spoiler-free part of the review. We always do the spoiler-free part of the review. What? <laughs> this is absolutely insane. Wonder Woman does things that no hero would ever do and does things for no absolute good reason at all and yeah. does things that simply make sense. Well, to quote the movie, what was wrong with it? All the things. I, I will disagree. Just right now, I'm just going to say uh, not all of it was terrible. Okay. And I'll, you, when, when it's my turn, I will tell you what was not terrible. But go ahead. You go ahead and say that. Because I thought the entire thing was absolutely horrendous. You might agree with me once I point it out to you. Okay, okay. Um, uh, so much of it didn't make sense. I agree. There are, scenes, there are scenes in there that seem to be just out of the blue for no good reason at all. Some of the lines in that movie were just like, what? Uh, they, oh, man. Yikes. The funny parts weren't funny. The action parts weren't very high stakes. For the most part, the uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a, a three. Wow, wow, a three? a three, holy, that's way too good. <laughs> <laughs> that's way too good. Okay. Are you good? That's my spoiler-free part of the review. Okay. Your turn. So, this movie was bad. B-A-D-D-D-D-D-D-D. <laughs> bad. Okay. Oh, my God. Patty Jenkins. Okay, I did not like the first Wonder Woman movie by any means, but I still gave that like an average movie score, like a five or a six, right? I don't even remember. But Patty Jenkins, what the fuck, man? <laughs> like, seriously? Did anybody read the script, first of all? Okay. <laughs> Second of all, that did anybody read the script at all? <laughs> like what? Okay. Oh my god, I can't even think straight. I'm just so fucking just mind blown. Okay. I I totally wow, yeah. Mm-hmm. There's so there's just so much wrong with this movie. So there's much. Little to no action. Okay? Little to no action. The CG on Cheetah is absolutely terrible. They try to oh. hide it by, by the darkness, and, and they can't even do that. Okay? Yeah, that didn't even turn out good. 
Um, you're wasting the talent of four very, very, very talented actors here. Yeah. Okay. Gal Gadot, great actors. Chris Pine, great actor. Yeah. Uh, Pedro Pascal. Kristen Wiig, man. Okay? Yeah. All great actors. All of them. And then you put them in this shit, shit movie. Okay? There's no excuse, Patty Jenkins. No excuse. I heard that you want to do a Spider-Man movie. You will not touch my Marvel movies. You will so not no, fuck yeah. them up. You God. hear me? No, no, no. No, thank you. Yeah, Please, whoever directed this movie no. can just, just pack it up and go home. The only good thing about this movie was the very opening scene where she's a little girl and she's running her gauntlet. That was the best part of this movie. Cut scene, end credits, movie over. <laughs> I would have probably gave it a five then. <laughs> that was the best part of this movie. That would have been almost a perfect movie for me if you would have just took that five, ten minutes of the first part of the movie where she's doing her gauntlet thing and ended it right there. Short film, over. Yeah. Right. Spoilers now. Oh, no. Spoiler alert. My score for this movie is a one. Oh. One star. <sighs> it was shit. And I want my money back, even though I didn't spend a damn dime. <laughs> that's stay. That's that's like two and a half hours. You're never getting back, man. That killed brain cells. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Number one, Wonder Woman's a bad guy in this movie. I don't yeah. Care which way you look at it, bad guy. Okay. Yeah. She she takes. An unknown per male who has no clue what's going on. And Ben, I think you said this. She freaking rapes him. She rapes him. Over and over. Without his knowledge. Or consent. Or consent. Because Chris Pine's character has taken over some man's body. Some random guy. She has no second thought. No first thought of this yeah. ever happening. No hesitation. No hesitation. She just jumps right into the bed and rapes a guy. Yeah. <laughs> Secondly. What okay. the fuck are you? I was like, oh, what the fuck are you serious? Pedro Pascal's character, okay, holds the wishing stone, right, and says, and I quote, I wish I was you. Poof. He turns into a stone, movie over. No. Yeah. That's not well, what happened. Okay? Well, well, not, well, Wonder Woman, wish it, wish it. Hey, I wish I had my boyfriend back. She didn't wish, oh, I wish the soul of my boyfriend would come back in some random person I can bone. Right? <laughs> but I, I'm just I'm just trying to get this done because I'm just, it pisses me off just even thinking about this movie. Okay? So, you wish... You were the stone, and you don't turn into the stone? Right? No. Okay? The words should have been, I wish I had your power. Or something along okay? those lines, yeah. You make it very adamant in this movie that he has to be touching people to make a wish. You also make it very adamant that you can only make one wish. Okay. Right? Yeah. Okay. So with one line, basically, after going through all of this building up, saying, oh, you have to touch, physically be touching the stone, physically be touching the guy. With one line. Oh, yeah, the sound like touches everybody. You... Are, are trying to make me believe that just because he's showing his face on TV or radio or whatever the fuck, that anybody in the world can just wish something and it'll come true. 
and that he gets his power and all this other stuff. Yet when his kid is doing the same fucking thing, he never shows up until the end of the movie. He doesn't get his wish, yeah. He doesn't get his wish. He doesn't get his wish until the end of the fucking movie. And, and not, I not didn't just know that. it could just randomly happen. It doesn't say, oh, your wish may come true one day. Who knows? You know? Right. It, okay, so the next thing they were very adamant about, uh, I, I mentioned earlier, was not only just the touching you, okay, but you could only make one wish, right? Yeah. Okay, so Kristen Wiig on the airplane says that she wishes she was an apex predator, okay? Yeah. Now, I know she didn't make the wish, okay, necessarily, and that Pedro Pascal, at the, towards the end, was was taking all the wishes, okay, and he was saying, give her the strength and dexterity, right? But he did not say turn her into a apex predator. Right. Okay. He did not say turn her into an animal in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So how the fuck did she turn into a cheetah? <clears throat> Doesn't make sense. Her makeup was terrible. Terrible. The CG yep. terrible. The action yep. terrible. And it turned into some kind of circus at the end cheetah, there. Which is her, her 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 main nemesis. Okay? And cut her down to like five minutes of action yep. in this movie. Yeah. This movie felt like a whole new origin movie. Where it was just slow mm -hmm. the entire fucking way through, and it just never pays off. Much like yeah. a DC origin movie. It was garbage. It was a it waste was, of millions of millions of dollars. It was a waste of four actors' talents. Yep. That's it. No more can be said. I mean, Besides what Ben has to say. I hate it when they try to make uh, 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 and they did such a bad job of trying to make Kristen Wiig look ugly. Right. Like, no. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is with Hollywood thinking, oh, you throw glasses on this chick and she's ugly. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> and then then she, then she rapes the guy and, and that I, ha I was really disturbed when she did that. You know, like and then, well, like, all this wasting time, they go to an art museum, they freaking have a montage where he dresses up in different clothes, like, oh, man, and and, and that, that was, like, very cringeworthy, all of that, you know what I mean? Yeah. It... Then she wishes she could be more like Wonder Woman. Okay. So, then what she... She turns into a total bitch. <laughs> she wanted to be more like Wonder Woman. Well, she she wanted to be like Diana. She didn't know that Diana was Wonder Woman, so she started getting all these powers. And then the thing is, is that the stone takes your most precious thing away from you, and hers was her heart and soul, basically. That's why she turned okay. into a bitch. But then, then she got her wish. So how did she get another wish? That's what I'm saying. That's what I said earlier. So, like, she didn't... The first wish that uh, she did was to be like Diana, right? And then uh -huh. she said that she wanted to be an apex predator, but that wasn't an actual wish. Right. And, and, and what he was doing was he was taking all the wishes and saying, give... Because he can take whatever he wants, right? Right. But he, he so he takes the strength and dexterity and, and, and speed and all that stuff and gives it to her. But nowhere does he say turn her into an apex predator. Right. Then like you said, the son doesn't get his wish. Yeah. Right? Uh and then there is no fucking way. No way everyone would give up their wish. Well that that was another thing that I wanted there to mention. No way. That, well, right, but there's another, th that's the other thing. Why? Why would it be so easy? You know? Like, right. 
Oh yeah, I rescind my wish. Oh, Wonder Woman, man, she's hot. I should I should take my wish back. Who cares if my grandma dies of cancer? You know? <laughs> right? I mean, I, I thought I that was a cop out. Feed my starving family. You think somebody's going to take that wish back? There are assholes out there. You think the assholes are going to say, oh, I don't need a million dollars? Yeah. There are people who are being beaten and abused. They're going to say, oh, this world is a beautiful place? No. <laughs> They're going to say, fuck you, lady. <laughs> Yeah. I, I I thought it was a cop out. I thought, okay, well that's just way too easy. So Wonder Woman can just go like, oh, okay, I didn't rape this dude, and yeah, it and then she happened? like what? Then she yeah. winks at him at the end. What? Why is she swinging off a lightning bolt so she knows how to fucking fly? Why is she wearing one of the most precious artifacts of her people to go fight some lady? What? 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 What was that line at the end? All the things, all the things. What the fuck is that even supposed to mean? I don't know. And then the, the then the end credit scene. Okay, you have Linda Carter. Poor, poor Linda Carter. Poor Linda Carter looks like she got hit in the face with a two by four from Hacksaw Jim Duggan, and the bruising went down. But the swelling didn't. I did not even know there was an end credit scene. I I was I was I was so eager to turn it off. Yeah. So they drug Linda Carter into this. Yes, they they drug Linda Carter into to this. So Linda Carter is the 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 chick Asteria. Yeah. What what were they thinking? I don't know. And she looks so bad, dude. She, she's got so much like plastic surgery and shit. She looks so oh, bad. That sucks. Like fucking bunch of bees came and stung her on the face and shit. And oh, that sucks, happened. dude. That sucks. Yeah, it's bad, dude. That, you know, uh, and they didn't have any nods to the 80s freaking TV show. Except for that one, I guess, thing. But uh, during the movie, I didn't see any. I, I mean, a lot of a 80s couple. references, but no direct references to that TV show. I think there was a couple. I'm not entirely sure which ones. I'll have to go back and watch it again to find them, but I'm not going to do that. So No, no. I'll, uh, I'll take someone else's word for it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys, let us know what you thought of the movie. Tell us yeah. if we're right or wrong. You'll be wrong if you tell us that we're wrong because, I mean, we know what we're talking about. We're nerds, and we love watching yep. these kinds of movies. And that was just garbage. That was garbage. Oh, yeah. That was, uh, that was a mess all the way around. And it, the fight at the end take, turning into Cirque du Soleil, that shit was annoying as hell. Right. What? Everybody's swinging off ropes now? Is that how fights at work? <laughs> I expected a spotlight and some freaking ballet music, too, to happen at any moment. Yeah, it was it was just bad, man. It was garbage. Garbage. Whatever you do, don't watch this movie if you haven't already. And if you watch it, eh, I'm sorry. Sorry. But there's there, uh, and if you haven't, there's better uses of your time. Absolutely, there's you, better movies. You can Way follow a movies. raccoon back to its nest and find out how many kids it has, and it would still be a better use of your time. Yep. All right, guys, again, let us know what you thought of the movie. Hit us up. Make sure you're subscribed so you can win one of these when we hit 5,000 subs. Bam. And remember, sharing is caring. Peace. Hey, guys, if you like that video, make sure to like and subscribe and click here for more. And if you don't, Jake won't feed me anymore. So please make sure you do.